in 11 minutes for SG and now what's the response Dyer's from Dog Champ? They are going to try for the smoke play. Yuma's right in front of them, so this could be a solid pickup if they can find it. There's the onslaught to start. Does he have six? He does, so the pulverize could be deployed, but look at these TPs coming in. Even if Yuma goes down, this is going to be a pretty solid response as the Bushwhack connects on a two. Probably just channels his ult in everyone's face. Dyer's oh. I usually not use this. Sheet. That gives him a little bit of extra reduction, but it's not going to be enough. And the chain press actually bounced on a product twice, so extra damage there. He's going to channel out the freezing field, but it's not enough to really do too much. But it does buy time for KXY to join the fight. They take down B9, but they need to be able to catch up the stone bank. Can they do so? The melt hit isn't enough for the kill, and now they're stuck in the river. This is a massive opportunity. As you said, LTH gets taken down. KXY, this is not how you want to use your Aegis. He is trying to find some sort of kill, anyone at all, but he doesn't actually have the side blade bounce. And now, I mean, can they actually kill him a second time? There's going to be the onslaught. He's still stuck in the ice wall ET, so he's not going anywhere. An absolute coup for Doug. They find something, and I think now maybe they do suspect that so there's a little bit of vision perhaps in that area. So we're going to clear that out. Italiano Gangster's going to try to push onto the tower, get some damage onto the tier one. Four Spears coming in. Yarn says, no, let's fight. Screw the tower. But that may not have been the best of ideas. He's going to get rooted. He's going to get taken down. And now the push is dead. Italiano Gangster might be dead as well, but nope. They're actually going to push in. Look at that damage. Jesus. Radiant's middle tower. B9. It's the same combo. Chain Frost into Sinister Gaze. Keeps him locked in. And now Yuma. I don't think he wanted to be in this fight, but he doesn't really have a choice. He has to try and go for Stone Bank, but he's not going to win that engagement. Dyer are scanning. Smoke on smoke. It's why blinks away in time. Uh, Yuma, though, Yuma's getting just beat down. Stone Bank is pushing his way in. There's going to be Yuma dead. Prada, not really the target that they want. They're trying to ignore him, but I don't think they can catch anyone else, so... They are going to give it a go. Tornado misses, though, but they do still get the full guard. Yard may sacrifice his life for this, but that gets stone back in. There's the chain frost to follow. It's bouncing between creeps a lot, though. But at the end of the day... Might still be able to do this. Stone Bank, though, needs to stay alive. Can he survive it? Yes, he can. No, he can't. KXY goes back in. He will get the kill. But now he's kind of in the middle of all of this. He needs teammates to help him out. That was a nice bushwhack initially. It's just not going to be enough. KXY still falls. Scanning. a jump in there as they blow up B9 and, well, Stonebank's going to try and turn this around. They are in onto Yuma. It's a nice bit of early damage. Yuma is going to get taken out. Prada should be falling as well. And KXY, he's not really in a position to do it, but they pulled back, they regrouped, they take the tower anyway. Now they're pushing the high ground. What can Dog Champ do? They get the frost shield down onto the tower. That is definitely helpful, but is it enough? That's awkward. He tries to go in for the full rise, but he actually, or not the full rise, rather, it's Stonebank who jumped in, but the hook pulls him away first. They do still get KXY, though. Now Yuma really loses his first life. There's really no backup. Look at the supports. They're getting pushed away. Prada is going to be going down here, presumably, but they really need to kill Yuma a second time, and they do get him just before his TP finishes. While Prada... ...in her third time now, taking a look at the net worth and experience where... Yo, know, SG pull away and then they don't maintain it. They just let their opponents kind of back in. You can see the roller coaster that's developing there. And in terms of the win probability, it actually has swung back over to the dog camp side as they push mid. And they get KXY, the single most valuable kill they could have found there. He's dead for 80 seconds without money for buyback. And Italiano Gangster just is Radiant's continuing to push. Can he actually catch anyone, though? Uh... Eh, not really. Pulls Yarn in and... 30 seconds away, so... 
just a bit of a bummer. That's XO used, and oh, oh hold on. Yeah, trying to turn around, but he the down, but Yarn is able to respond to the pulverized quick and stone bank lift. He does need to activate the satanic, he's gonna be able to do so, and now he's just healing up. And I don't think SG Sports wanna be here anymore, but they don't really have much of a choice. They have to try and fight their way through it, but it's not a fight that they're gonna win. Oscar and is doing the work. Stonebank had time to activate the Satanic, realizing I don't have to wait for the Aegis to pop because I can just not die in the first place as Oscar gets taken down. Yuma tried to hook him away, but dies in transit. The Tier 2 tower falls as well. Now the high ground attempt is coming through. Yarn just goes straight in. So does Taliana Gangster. They're not really doing the damage that they thought they would, though. Yuma, that's a nifty hook. Pulls Yarn. Might not even go anywhere. This might just be maybe try to bait Stonebank and yeah, see who comes forward to fight him. KXY, though, he's not going to take that bait. Got to assume something's going on here. Stonebank is showing aggressively with no bit of everyone else. But anyway, there's the missile into the uh, Horizon. That's it. KXY's dead. He doesn't have money for buyback. He spent all of his money getting that nullifier. There really isn't much of a fight to be had here. Yuma's gonna get picked off as well. Prada falls all the way back. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. He's dead. Oscar. Look at that, it's bouncing between him and the Spire. B9 with a setup for that kill. LTH is running. Don't know if he's making it. Yeah, no, he's, he's not making it at all. Oscar does buy back though. He's, yeah. Yarn is still playing pretty far forward. He just doesn't really care at this stage. As he pushes his way in, Prada will step back into the fountain. They get the root on the yard. He'll activate his BKB though into the pulverize. And all the while his teammates are actually hitting the ancient, trying to end the game. So they should be able to finish this one off. And yeah, game one goes into dodge.